the city. A trail of drugs, a trail of blood. We know what our sons do, Jeet. You shoot with guns. And I don't like it. This is geriatric gray one. It's yes. so interesting about Biba boys in that everyone is leading a double life. Everyone. Yes. They're good boys at home. Mm -hmm. They're bad boys out mm -hmm. in the world. Mm -hmm. Your character has a different situation. Yes. But nobody is who they seem to be. No, not at all. Um, how do you... That must be really fun to do because you can't overplay it, right? No, you can't. So how do you avoid that? No, I think you nailed it. You cannot overplay it because what happens is when you... Like when I went through that script over and over and over again, and when I worked with Deepa uh, on set, off set, like in her kitchen, you know, because she really put me through the ringer. Um, when I, the, the more, the more I thought about Nep, the more I was like, he has a million pounds on his shoulder. Yeah. And when somebody has that kind of weight on their shoulder, it's hard to move. And so I really embraced stillness. And I embraced oh. being full, but not being uh, uh, foul. Wow. You know? Very well put. No, well, oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's very interesting. I didn't think of the weight that he was carrying, yeah. but of course he yeah, was. Yeah, yeah. And be, at, at any moment, especially when you're leaving a double, leading a double life, you can't be too bold. No. Because you can't draw attention. You, you cannot. You just have to be there. And he must have felt also a sense of betraying his community, in a way. Yeah, of course. <sighs> yeah. He's almost like a like a tragic Shakespearean character. Isn't yeah, he? very much so. Very, very much so. Yeah. Now, how did you? Deepa is surrounded by all this male energy, mm -hmm. and this she's never done a film no, like this no, before. No, no, not like this. No. So did she? How was she? Did she? She was the ultimate gangster. <laughs> <laughs> no, she really was. She she really was kind of like the ultimate gangster, you know. And and I say that because of just her kind of like bravery, you know, and and how she would just at the end of the day, like if you ask me what I think a gangster is, uh, I'm not talking about the criminal activity, but the spirit is just doing whatever you want. And Deepa does whatever the hell she wants doesn't to do. She, she doesn't care. <laughs> That's right. So she she, doesn't, she changes her mind all the time, and and like you know, for some for some actors, it's very hard to deal with because you're like, oh my god, I've prepped so hard with this thing, and now you're telling me it's not this thing. You know, there's a scene in the uh, with in the aquarium with Gia right. and I, beautifully shot with those beluga whales, like incredible. For for two years, that scene was in a bus, but Deepa, two days before we we're going to shoot it, I get an email. She's like, we're doing it in an aquarium, and I'm like, all right. Let's go. Whatever, Whatever you say, exactly. Sure. Man, oh man, that must have been She's fun. the boss. She's the boss. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, I mean, I was sort of aware of, see, not really gangsters, more religious warfare in the community, not even warfare. Right. But division. Mm -hmm. I had never heard of Sikh gangster drug people. Right, right, right. Was that a surprise to you? Uh, I, I've heard uh, uh, shades of it. Um, you know, because I have a lot of like Punjabi friends. I'm, I'm not Indian myself, but I have a lot of like uh, Indian friends, Punjabi friends, Sikh friends, and so I heard of it. Um, but what was what was amazing was again going through the script. I would start to do my research, and I would start to Google the events that happened in the script. Right. Like that, right. that seems True sensational. <laughs> that seems sensational. Yes. But it was amazing. There's always a news article that corresponds to something. It was wild. It was wild. But it reminds it reminded me of Godfather. Uh, you know, there's some crazy so. stuff in Godfather, right? But they're actually but, kind and of again, the truth. The They've gangsters are, are appealing. Yes, of course. They're very appealing. Because at the end of the day, we're human be beings. Movie. Like, what do you think? We're just, you know, gangsters are just like, ah, I'm saying, I'm a gangster, saying. Like, that's... Yeah. That's, that, that, that's, that's a pre-kind of, like, you know, realism. That's a pre-kind of, I don't know, the, the, the shift that happened in art and acting and whatever. Right, yeah, yes. Yeah. Oh, how interesting. Yeah. Um, now, and style is a very important oh, part yeah. of the film. No socks. No socks, but it's, it's and a I'm whole still not thing. Socks. It's I'm still taken not off socks. like crazy. Yeah, Deepa was a year, a year ahead. Deepa was a year ahead on the style. Maybe she knows if it doesn't work out for her as a director, she could always be a stylist. stylist. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Deepa, you could be my stylist. <laughs> it's called a kirpan. means mercy. Compassion, justice, none of which.
you are gonna see today. Jichahar and his Biba boys have blazed a trail across the city. A trail of drugs, a trail of blood. We know what our sons do, Jeet. You shoot with guns, and I don't like it. This is geriatric Greywall sitting on the throne. What am I supposed to do? Greywall, G. One of your trucks that just crossed the border? We took a shine to its merchandise. <laughs> he started to annoy me. Dad wants Jeet's head on a platter. You're angling to be a Biba boy, eh? If you want to be king in this world, you gotta take the offensive. You know what Jeet and the sweet boys do? I didn't have to be doing this. I could have been a doctor or something. Who bought this for you? Did you bought this? Your mom did. As a present for me. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you who the Biba rat is. You think I don't know? No, you don't have to jump just because he says to. Say a word and I'll blow your brains out. I beg you. Three words. Unplug her. Bam. <laughs> and I get um, you attended the premiere last night, and I guess it was pretty wild. It, it was a real scene. It was a real scene, and you know we all kind of came in kind of be bud up, you know, in terms of our, our our fashion and our aesthetic. We still kind of carried that forward, and uh, yeah, you know, it's a spirit. So. And you know, even the title it suggests the double nature of the film. Yeah, good boys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Even though wow. we're anything but. And the shots of Rand deep with his mother, and she's bossing him around. Yeah, and, yeah, it's and amazing. It. It's yeah, a it's nuance amazing. of life. Yeah, it's a nuance of life. It's exactly right. It's it's realistic. It's true. I mean, the son, no matter what he does or who he is, always the, the relationship with the mother and the son. I like I like you know me and my mom are just even if if I was a drug dealer hypothetically, I, I mean I still would be scared of what my mom would think, or I'd still want to listen, or I'd still want to eat her food, like I still want to yeah. respect her, you know. Yes, precisely. And she yeah. Yeah, she, br she brought me into life. Why wouldn't I? Yeah. You know. Um, are you working with the strain? Uh, yeah. Well, I did a couple episodes of it. So oh, that a was couple in the first episodes. Season. That was in the yeah. First season. Yeah. Well, maybe yeah. there'll be more. The, it's really ramping up here in Toronto. It is. Yeah. 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 It's exciting time to be yeah. an actor because we've had tough times. It's in the Toronto. irony of the bad dollar. Yeah. It's weird. You know, it makes it very beneficial for them to come here, and but also the world's becoming international, and and uh, it's also becoming like less expensive to make stuff. You know, the technology. I mean, I mean, look look at the setup you have here. Could you have done this ten years ago? No, there'd no, be probably with the, with three the people. Light and a, and, a, and a HD camera. Yeah. Look what you're doing. Yeah. yeah. I've yeah. seen movies that have been done just on like two Canon 5Ds, and they look great. They look great. There's a movie that's shot just on an iPhone 5S. I was in Sundance last year. There was another film that was just a Skype camera. Uh, just the story was, you know, there's, yeah. Uh, do you have any desire to make films? Yeah, I do. Yeah, because I I, I really. Uh, uh, I love the fusion of like storytelling and technology. Oh yeah, which is what what you know. I believe that a film. Such is. a time you've been born into. This is really it's. Yeah, a if we could capitalize time. on it, yeah. it, it, it could be something awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's really cool. Um, are you seeing many of the films at TIFF? I haven't had time to do anything, but I think now that the premiere is over, I'm going to try to catch some stuff for yeah, sure. Yeah, it's yeah, it's all inspirational. Isn't yeah, it? yeah, it's, absolutely. I mean, it's just, do you normally come? Uh, yeah, I try to see, like I'm from Toronto, so yeah. I try to see some stuff every year. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh. I don't do the parties, though. No. Unless I have to. I, no, no. I don't, I, don't, I don't consider them parties. No, they're not. They're marketing, they're, they're, marketing, they're marketing. strategy sessions. That's and also, in order to do TIFF right, to watch movies, to cover it, you need your sleep. You need yes, your sleep. and I am a stickler for sleep. So, yeah, it's yeah. so important. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, so nice to meet you. So nice meeting you. So nice to see that you're a good guy. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. That was great. What a pleasure.